I was born in London, in Hackney. My dad left when I was very young. It wasn't easy. Um, I got three, you know, stepbrothers. There was lots of stepdads, and my mum married two or three times. At the age of 10, till I was 18, I, w I grew up in care, in four different children's homes, four different foster parents. I can remember some good times, but, you know, it wasn't a home. I didn't trust authority, and um, I found it pretty difficult. Bob Miley was, and his music kind of touched my heart and meant quite a lot to me at that particular time. And I uh, found comfort in a lot of the music that was written by him. I started to grow my hair into dreadlocks and I started exploring the Rastafarian faith, um, smoking weed, get, just getting mixed up in different drugs and different things. And that was a mess, different relationships kind of drifting off in that direction. I was introduced to a lot of crime, um, a lot of theft and robberies. Kind of my life was kind of at a spiral stage for, for a lot of periods. And at the same time, I was, I was in college as well. So I was trying to mix everything together, but um, it, it wasn't really the lifestyle that I wanted, but it's just one that I was kind of led to. May 1996, I was uh, stopped by a married couple in Bristol. And I had dreadlocks, I had a picture of Emperor Haile Selassie around my neck. And they started talking to me about Jesus. Although I was a Rastafarian, I was talking to Muslims, I was um, really seeking, and I was really interested in who made this world. And, and when I heard the gospel of Jesus, I was convicted of sin, and I knew God loved me now, and he wanted me now. And in May 1996, that was when my journey began uh, in following Jesus and, and um, opening my heart to him. It's been a learning process, drawing near to God and knowing his unconditional love, knowing him as a loving father. It was then that I could begin to have respect for authority, forgive my mum and my dad for putting me in care and him not being there. My thinking changed, my habits changed. I had a lot more love for people. I wasn't holding a chip on my shoulder. You know, I'd, I didn't have a chip, I had a boulder and I would be disrespectful, but. God softened my heart. God has blessed me now. I have a wife and uh, two children, one on the way. I like to sing reggae gospel. I like to sing hip hop. Um, I like to do covers and change uh, some of the songs that are out there into, you know, uh, proper Christian, loving, glorifying Jesus lyrics. Uh, and I think music is is to glorify God. Our life is to glorify God.